You know that little bad you see in the corner of almost every power supply box that says 80 plus and then has some kind of a precious metal attached to it? We're going to tell you what you need to know about 80 plus as fast as possible. The original 80 plus was really simple. 80 plus logo goes here. The power supply at 20% of its maximum load, 50% of its maximum load, and 100% of its maximum load had to be at least 80% efficient converting power from AC wall power to the DC power that your computer uses. After a while, it got to the point where it was becoming easier and cheaper to build power supplies that were 80 plus efficient, which is, which is great. I mean, power was being saved, money was being saved, trees were being saved, it was all good things. But consumers were looking for ways to continue to differentiate even more efficient power supplies. So over 2008 and 2009, 80 plus bronze, silver, gold, and platinum were all introduced. Now, some of these, particularly 80 plus platinum, is almost more like a 90 plus certification because it requires 90%, 92%, and 89% efficiency at 20%, 50%, and 100% loads. But the branding of 80 plus remains. Power supplies that are extremely efficient but for example, have large voltage drops under load or exhibit a lot of ripple can cause long-term damage to your components even though they might be quite efficient. With that said, most 80 plus gold and platinum power supplies these days do tend to also be very well built inside. It just should be noted that you gotta watch out for those other things as well and it's important to still read reviews for power supplies. For those of you who were paying really close attention before, there's no 80 plus requirement for efficiency under 20% load. So that's why it's important to buy a power supply that is appropriate for your system. If you have a mid-range gaming rig that only draws 80 to 100 watts from the wall at idle, buying a 1200 watt power supply for it is inappropriate because that's less than 10% of the overall power supply's capacity. That means this 80 plus platinum power supply could be 90% efficient at 20% load, but it could drop all the way down to 70% efficient at a 5% load. You don't know. I'm not saying this one does. In fact, the AX1200i is one of the best built power supplies on the market. But as a general rule, you want to get something that is going to be somewhere near that sweet spot. So you want at least 20% load at idle, and then under load, you want it to, to be around 50 to 75% to take advantage of the most efficient part of the efficiency curve, which is not on this particular power supplies box, but I think you guys get the point. Thanks for watching this episode of Fast as Possible on Tech Quickie. As always, don't forget to subscribe to Tech Quickie. Don't forget to like the video, it helps us a lot. And share the video with anyone who you think might benefit from the information. If you have a suggestion for a Fast as Possible episode, click the link in the video description and leave that suggestion for us. We'll have a look and there's a very good chance we will produce a Fast as Possible just for you.